hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel please like comment and subscribe if you are a newcomer so this is my okra soup i'm going to show you how i made this sweet delicious okra soup just make sure you watch till the end so these are all the ingredients that i will need for this my okra soup this is the okra i'll be using this is my okra leaf my meat this is goat meat and pomo this is my snail my ice fish this is my crayfish and fresh pepper my salt and stock cubes start by boiling this goat meat and pomo I'll spice it up my onions so I'm going to boil my meat and pomo first of all so after some while like five minutes I'm going to add my fresh fish and the snail salt I'll set you after five minutes. So I'll add my snail, my ice fish. Right, let's check our uh, meat. This is exactly after 10 minutes. So as you can see, it's okay now. So I'll open my fire now so that I can bring out this meat. After that, I'll start frying my okra. I love that frying method. It's so nice and tasty. You should try this frying method. Start by placing an empty pot on the fire. Allow it to dry before putting my oil. Okay, after adding my oil, I'll now allow it to bleach. I'll just start immediately. This is my onions. My sliced okra. If you are worried about the size, you can slice your okra. It's a more smaller piece. So I'll just allow it for like two minutes. I want it to fry without turning it. There is a unique taste you will get when you use mortar to pound your crayfish and pepper. As I do not pound it much because I love the, the sight of fresh pepper in my soup. So I'm going to fry all of them together. This is five minutes later. I'm going to add my stove. My goat meat, 
the omo and the snow. This frying method it gives the sokro soup a very special aroma taste. So at this point now, I'll just cover it and allow it to boil all over. Stock cubes. My salt. So this is after five minutes. Let's check our soup. Wow. Very nice. Wow. The aroma is out of this world. I noticed I did not add my fish earlier on. That's because I didn't want the fish to scatter. So this is the proper time for me to add it. Since I already spiced off the fish earlier on, so even if I add it at this point, it will still have a very good taste. As you can see, our soup is getting ready. Okay, as you can see, the soup is already boiling. So I'm now just add my sliced ogu leaves. Remember to wash the ogoli very well before slicing. After pouring my leaf, I'll just go ahead and off this fire. Because I want my leaves to still look fresh. So the soup is ready. As you can see, the soup is looking so nice and yummy. You can eat your okra soup with any swallow of your choice.